Ed here with Digital Digest and today I wanted to give you guys an update on the Elocity A7, a tablet that I believe deserves more attention. Uh, Stream TV Networks, the manufacturer, is in the process of getting the uh, A10 out, which is the 10-inch version of this tablet. Pretty much identical specs other than internal storage and of course a 10-inch screen. So a really promising device. Starts at $430. I've already got one pre-ordered uh, through JNR. If you're interested in you know that device, take a look. Uh, I recommend going through them. But the Elocity A7, back to that device, really has matured through the help of Dexter over at XDA Developers Forum. He does have one of these devices now in hand, so he's able to actually directly develop for it. As a result, he has put out his latest uh, mod, his custom ROM. It's version 1.3, which I will have a link to in the description. Uh, so, you know, this way you guys have an updated method to getting a good version, the latest version of the Marketplace on here. That's the most important uh, addition to this ROM that Dexter uh, put together. Furthermore, he fixed the G-Sensor, so any games you're having issues with will now work. Uh, he also added a DSP so that audio levels um, you know, are a little bit higher because these stereo speakers are kind of weak. Again, this is a Tegra 2 based tablet, much like the Motorola Zoom. Let me show you guys some flash playback, again, working under Dexter's latest build. It's really, really good. This is uh, 480p content on YouTube in browser. I just made it full screen. Now, as you can see, that was completely fluid, no issues there whatsoever. This is, again, over Wi-Fi, no end support on this device. But remember, this is a three to $350 7-inch Android tablet running Froyo with a Tegra 2 processor, uh, 512 megs of RAM, 4 gigs of internal storage, uh, a micro SD card slot, front-facing camera, some dedicated Android buttons. I mean, it's really a complete device. It's got, you know, the HDMI out, full 1080p support not for high profile content if you don't know what I'm talking about just google it uh, and again really simple about a 10 minute process to get Dexter's ROM on there again tremendous thanks to him he's done a great job I've been in communication with him and you know he has worked aggressively to help make this device much better let's go ahead and take a look at Engadget again I just like to show you guys you know how fast this device is because it literally flies Again, no multi-touch support. You're looking at four hours of battery life on this device. Uh, as you can see, there's the fudged multi-touch. The A10 will have true multi-touch support. Something important to note about that 10-inch tablet when they do eventually get them out there. Uh, you know, but on the whole, really fast performance, and that's what's really impressive uh, to me. Uh, especially at its price point and Dexter having one in hand means that you're gonna probably see better support for this device than just about any other tablet uh, out there sporting uh, a Tegra 2 in the 7 inch form factor even though I do really really like the Dell Streak 7 uh, it's really good to know that the community is on top of this device so it's got a bit of a cult following which is definitely a good thing uh, again I want to talk about the fact that you know the Motorola Zoom is going to be an $800 tablet again that's launching tomorrow February 24th really is a game changer let's all hope you know first honeycomb tablet first tablet sporting a real uh, you know tablet Android OS experience but you know I have to say that the price point at 800 plus tax plus 35 activation uh, through Verizon and one month mandatory uh, data service which I believe the lowest package is $20 you're looking at well over a thousand dollars just to get an, you know, a Wi-Fi experience out of that device. And it's very similarly spec to this, even though it does have 32 gigs of storage, it does have Wi-Fi N, it does have, uh, you know, obviously a 10 inch screen, which with much higher resolution, and it will have a better build quality. And of course, Honeycomb, which this device unfortunately is not going to get, at least that's what the manufacturer has said, because there is no multi-touch. The most important thing, again, to me, is what you're looking to get out of your tablet experience and right now I don't think there's anything any technology out there uh, including the Tegra 2 which I do really uh, you know think is the best platform out there right now there is no justification for an $800 starting price point now the Wi-Fi version will be available later I'm not sure when there's no street date on that it is priced at 600 so that's definitely a good option 
but you know more importantly as you can see in this article that I just happened to come upon you know there is this trend now that Verizon is going to be charging a, uh, a fee or excuse me a one month mandatory data uh, plan uh, for every tablet they're going to provide now if this is a trend that we're going to see all of uh, the carriers uh, you know snowball with it's gonna be sad and let's just hope that more Wi-Fi tablets like the Elocity A7 and the soon uh, to launch A10 which I'm hoping to get my hands on in the next you know couple of weeks really you know demonstrate that there is a market for a traditional tablet experience rather than just a 4G or 3G uh, subsidized uh, experience through one of you know the various carriers anyway again Dexter has done a great job with this device and I think the Elocity A7, despite its uh, you know, few flaws, is a great value at its price point. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Again, all the directions and the link to Dexter's modification for his you know, ROM, uh, ROM, again, that's version 1.3, the latest, uh, is there in the description. So go ahead and take a look at that. And of course, as usual, guys, please feel free to subscribe. Later.